that's a hell of a difficult thing to do, right? For a huge company to just pivot. I mean, it's so interesting to, because we'll talk about your current work. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's clear that PCs were dominating for several decades, mm -hmm. like desktop computers. And then mobile, it's unclear. It's a, it's a leadership question. Like, like Apple under Steve Jobs when he came back, they pivoted multiple times. You know, they yeah. built iPads and iTunes and phones and tablets and great Macs. Like, like who knew computers should be made out of aluminum? Nobody knew that. That they're great. It's, it's super fun. That was Steve? Yeah, Steve Jobs. Like, they pivoted multiple times. And, uh, you know, the old Intel, they, they did that multiple times. They made DRAMs and processors and processes and... I gotta ask this: What was it like working with Steve Jobs? I didn't work with him. Did you I, interact with him twice? <laughs> I said hi to him twice in the cafeteria. What did he say? Hi. He said, "Hey, fellas." <laughs> he was friendly. He was wandering around and with somebody he couldn't find the table because the cafeteria was was packed, and I gave him my table. And and Nvidia invested for years in CUDA, first for HPC, and then they got lucky with the AI trend but do you think they're going to essentially not be able to hardcore pivot out of their we'll see that's always interesting <laughs> how often do big companies hardcore pivot occasionally how much do you know about nvidia folks some some yeah well it's i'm i'm, I'm curious as well who's ultimately as a well they've, they've innovated several times but they've also worked really hard on mobile they worked really hard on radios you know you know, they're fundamentally a GPU company. Well, they tried to pivot. There's an interesting little uh, game and play in autonomous vehicles, right? With, or a semi-autonomous, like playing with Tesla and so on and seeing that's a uh, dipping a toe into that kind of pivot. They came out with this platform, which is interesting technically. Yeah. But it was like a 3,000 watt, you know, and it was 1,000 watt, $3,000, 3, you know, GPU platform. I don't know if it's interesting technically, it's interesting philosophically. I, I Technically, I don't know if it's the execution, the craftsmanship is there. I'm not sure. But I, I didn't get a I sense. I think they were repurposing GPUs for an automotive solution. Right, it's not a real pivot. They didn't They didn't build a ground up solution. Right. Like the, the, like the chips inside Tesla are pretty cheap. Like Mobileye has been doing this. They're, they're doing the classic work from the simplest thing. Yeah. You know, they were building 40 mil, square millimeter chips and NVIDIA, their solution had two 800 millimeter chips and two 200 millimeter chips. And, you know, like boatloads of really expensive DRAMs. And, and you know, it's a really different approach. So and Mobileye fit the, let's say, automotive cost and form factor. And then they added features as it was economically viable. And NVIDIA said, take the biggest thing and we're going to go make it work. You know, and, and that's also influenced like Waymo. There's a whole bunch of, autonomous startups where they have a 5,000 watt server in their trunk, mm -hmm. right? And, but that's, that's cause they think, well, 5,000 watts and you know, $10,000 is okay. Cause it's replacing a driver. Elon's approach was that port has to be cheap enough to put it in every single Tesla, whether they turn on it, autonomous driving or not. What do you think about uh, like Tesla's dojo efforts or it can be bigger than Tesla in general. It's kind of like the tense torrent uh, yeah. trying to innovate, like this is the dichotomy, like should a company try to from scratch build its own neural network training hardware? Well, first I think it's great. So we need lots of experiments, right? And there's lots of startups working on this and they're pursuing different things. You know, I, I was there when we started Dojo and it was sort of like, what's the unconstrained computer solution to go do very large training problems? Yeah, And then there's fun stuff like, you know, we said, well, we have this 10,000 watt board to cool. Well, you go talk to guys at SpaceX and they think 10,000 watts is a really small number, not a big number. Yeah. And there's brilliant people working on it. I'm yeah. curious to see how it'll come out. I, I couldn't tell you, you know, I know it pivoted a few times since I left. So so the, the cooling does seem to be a, a big problem. I do like what Elon said about it, which is like, we don't want to do the thing unless it's way better than the alternative, whatever the alternative is. So if, it has to be way better than like racks of GPUs. Yeah, right? and then, and the other thing is just like you know, you know the Tesla autonomous driving hardware, it was only serving one software stack, mm -hmm. and the hardware team and the software team were tightly coupled. 
you know, if you're building a general purpose AI solution and you, you know, there's so many different customers with so many different needs. Now, something Andre said is, I think this is amazing. 10 years ago, like vision, recommendation, uh, language were completely different disciplines. Mm -hmm. He said, the people literally couldn't talk to each other. And three years ago, it was all neural networks, but the very different neural networks. Mm -hmm. And recently it's converging on one set of networks. They vary a lot in size, obviously. They vary in data, vary in outputs, but the technology has converged a good bit. Yeah, these and, transformers behind GPT-3, it seems like they could be applied to video, they could be applied to a lot of, yeah. and it's like, and they're all really simple. And it was like to literally replace letters with pixels. Yeah. It does vision, it's amazing. So. And then size but, actually improves the thing. So the bigger it gets, the more compute you throw at it, the better it gets. And the more data you have, the better it gets. So, so, so then you start to wonder, well, is that a fundamental thing or is, is this just another step to some fundamental understanding about this kind of computation, which is really interesting.